of medicine 3 uh is it lupus uh presenting mrs a a 35 year old lady who presented with complaints of fever for one year lower limb pains for one year joint pains for one year erythematous rash over the lower limbs and upper limbs for past two months and black discoloration of the lower limbs for past 10 days history of presenting complaints she presented uh to us with low low grade fevers for one year with no chills rigors evening rise of temperature or night sweats she had bilateral lower limb pain which is a constant pain which was worse at night and there was no history of any claudication joint pains involving the small joints of the hands and feet wrists elbows ankles knees with early morning stiffness lasting for one hour and there was no history of any swelling redness warmth around those joints and two months ago she started noticing a reddish rash over her thighs legs arms and forearms and along with this she had a blister on the right leg over the shin which initially bliss, uh, ulcerated and th then developed a black discoloration over the ulcer however there was no discharge tenderness or bleeding from the ulcer side and for the past 10 days she noticed black discoloration of the skin over the legs which was initially around the ulcer and then gradually progressed to involve patches of the skin from the foot to the thighs there was black discoloration noticed over the big toe and second toe of bilateral lower limbs also There was no history of any cough or hemoptysis. There was no history of hematuria, decreased urine output, and no history of any visual disturbances, dry eye, dry mouth, or tightening of skin. Past history, she was diagnosed with pulmonary tuberculosis with positive sputum CBNI outside, and was started on HRCD regimen in January two thousand twenty-four. And she is continuing therapy now, and she does not have any other comorbidities or habits. And treatment history wise, she has received steroids on and off for the past two months. on examination she was conscious and in severe pain uh, white is her pulse rate was 110 beats per minute but regular and her peripheral pulses were present blood pressure was 120 by 80 mm mercury and respiratory uh, rate was 18 breaths per minute and she was febrile with a temperature of 100 fever she did not have any pallor ictus cyanosis clubbing lymphadenopathy or pedal edema on general examination she had reticulate erythematous rash over bilateral thigh legs arms and forearms reticulate purpura over the bilateral lower limbs with an ulcer on the right lower shin and black discoloration of the medial two digits of the left foot and the second digit on the right foot this was a rash with the purpural rash over the lower limbs with the ulcer on the right medial shin and this was the reticulate rash that was seen on her lower limb as well as upper limbs on systemic examination her on cns examination higher mental functions cranial nerves motor system was normal sensory system examination showed decreased sensations for touch pains and vibration bilaterally below the knees and deep tendon reflexes bilateral ankle jerks were absent and other reflexes were 2 plus and plantar reflexes were bilateral flexors and uh, cvs respiratory system and abdominal examination was within normal limits So she is a thirty-five-year-old lady who presented with prolonged fever, polyarthralgia, loss of weight and appetite, with a purpural rash over the lower limbs with digital gangrene and features of neuropathy. So the differential considered for this multi-system involvement was a vasculitis or a vasculitis, which could have been a small vessel or medial vessel. And a purp and because of the purpural rash, which was immediate sudden onset for the past ten days with tachycardia. Uh, and all uh, purpura fulminans with infectious autoimmune or paraneoplastic causes so on investigations her hemoglobin was 11.6 uh, her total counts were normal platelets were normal the liver function and uh, renal function parameters were normal blood cultures drawn at admission did not show any growth and her uh, inflammatory markers were elevated with an esr of 100 and crp of 20.5 and blood borne virus screen was negative her urine routine also was normal on initiation of the autoimmune workup her ana showed 2 plus with a spectral pattern dsdna was elevated with a low uh, complement with c4 less than 5 her bleeding parameters were normal ankas were negative and uh, she did not have any proteinuria she had sinus tachycardia however her echo was normal on a chest x ray she had a wedge shaped opacity in the right upper Uh, right upper zone and a ct thorax abdomen pelvis was done which showed bilateral upper lobe uh, post tubercular sequela with bands and nodules her skin biopsy which was done from the ulcer as well as the uh, rash from the ulcer there was dermal and epidermal infection with invasive fungal infection with yeast in the uh, ulcer 
uh, tissue and coagulopathic changes with vascular thrombi in the ulcer. So possibility of purpura fulminance was considered by pathology. And from the uh, purpural rash uh, and libidoid rash, uh, mild telangiectasia with uh, superficial dermal and mild, peri mild perivascular chronic inflammation was seen. Her LDS was 255 and uh, lupus anticoagulant was mildly positive. However, other antibodies for uh, APS was negative. And an EMG done showed bilateral lower limb sensory motor axonopathy. And a CT thorax abdomen pelvis showed the TB, uh, post TB sequelae and lower limb vein dopplers when normal. So the diagnosis that we came upon with this patient was systemic lupus erythematosus with secondary uh, APS syndrome with purpura fulminance and vascular along with vasculitis because of the because of the fact she had mononeuritis uh, neuropathy with digital gangrene a possibility of a medium vessel vasculitis secondary to SLE itself was considered. So uh, I would like to discuss upon the cutaneous findings in antiphospholipid uh, syndrome today which are levodo reticularis with retiform purpura or necrosis, Sneddon syndrome, levodoid vasculopathy, anectoderma, widespread cutaneous necrosis seen with uh, catastrophic APS, acral levodo, vasculitic like lesions, pyoderma, gangrenosum like ulcers, splinter hemorrhages and superficial thrombophlebitis migraines. I would like to describe uh, the major ones in detail. Levodoid vasculopathy usually occurs with platelet inactivation factors, five laden mutation associated with APS, altered fibrinolysis and hyperhomocystinemia. This occurs as pers persistent painful punched out ulcers around the malleoli, retiform and stellate purpura or ulcer extension that can occur from the ulcer and, heal and this heals with a white scar. And Sneddon syndrome uh, is usually seen when there is APLA as well as ANA positivity and uh, libido racemos where the reticulate pattern is broken with Raynaud's and uh, it is always usually associated with focal uh, neurological symptoms and uh, signs. Malignant atrophic papillosis is also seen with APS in the context of SLE. However, the exact mechanism of the same is not noted. Initially, it occurs as pink papules, which becomes necrotic and becomes umbilicated with a central porcelain white scar and then scaling. And there will be a pink ed edematous border, which becomes telangiectatic. And there will be associated GI lesions also. Anatoderma-like derma lesion also, even though the patholog pathophysiology is not documented, it is usually elastolysis which causes areas of wrinkled sacs of skin. And catastrophic APS is when there is uh, extensive cutaneous necrosis. However, the criteria says there should be at least three or more organ involvements which occurs within one week. And there should be histological evidence of intravascular thrombosis and presence of antiphospholipid uh, antibodies six weeks apart. I would like to talk about uh, purpura fulminance as a rare presentation of antiphospholipid syndrome. It is, only two case reports have been presented as anti, uh, purpura fulminance in the background of antiphospholipid syndrome. The, the first one is a 72-year-old gentleman who presented with similar complaints with bilateral lower limb extremity discoloration and swelling and blanching erythematous rash with cyanotic uh, toes and palpable peripheral pulses. He also had anticardiolipin, which was elevated. However, CT did not show any evidence of organ thrombosis and DVT screening. And this patient was considered to have purpura fulminance and was treated with methylprednisolone pulse and then uh, was continued on anticoagulation. The second case study also was a 49-year-old uh, lady who presented with similar lesions over her legs where, where her WBC counts platelets, everything was normal with sterile blood cultures. She also had ANA positivity with lupus anticoagulant positivity and the bleeding parameters, only APTT was prolonged with a normal PT. The skin biopsy showed similar extensive thrombosis of small vessel, uh, small size vessels with RBC extravasation uh, and sparse <coughs> inflammatory infiltrates. So, uh, Mrs. A, our patient, uh, was considered to have a purpura fulminance secondary to APS. However, about, she was also considered to have vasculitis, uh, which, which probably would not have shown up on the biopsy because she was already on treatment on and off with steroids. Hence, she was uh, treated with immunosuppressions with uh, steroid pulse followed by a cyclophosphamide pulse. 
and then was started on anticoagulation therapy and with and continued with warfarin and she has showed uh, clinical improvement with the uh, skin lesions with healing so my learning point from this case is in aps there can be a presentation of uh, uh, purpura fulminans which can be non infectious which can be treated with immunosuppression thank you dr divya any questions from the audience What was the diagnosis of Apla? Apla, she had uh, acute uh, vessel. Uh, she had a history of uh, she on the the dermatological biopsy showed uh, vascular thrombi. With that, she had uh, thrombosis of digital gangrene also, and thrombosis with uh, one uh, vas uh, dermatological this thing showing. And lupus anticoagulant positivity also she had. Immunological lupus anticoagulant with the biopsy showing uh, vascular thrombi. She had DIC. She did not have DIC. She had bleeding parameters. Everything was within normal limits. Is there no anticoagulation? If it was not, if it was not apla positivity, it just. <coughs> no. Uh, the reason anticoagulation. Uh, for the apla with the digital gang. And what did the IF show on the skin biopsy? The IF did not show any C3 deposition in our this thing. And what is the significance of that invasive uh, fungal, fungal infection? infection? We had asked whether this, uh, because uh, Candida as well as Aspergillus is shown, is associated with purpura fulminans, but because it was only from the uh, ulcer area and not from the purpura lesion, otherwise we, it was considered to be a colonizer which was there and hence was not treated. Any other questions?